Hello, you guys. In the car, I'm here with my boyfriend, and we're gonna be filming a couple's Q and A while also eating Wingstop. We're gonna do a little mukbang. So here we got some wing stuff we just got it right now we both got some wings and stuff so we're gonna be eating while answering your guys questions so i went ahead and asked you guys questions on my instagram and i got a couple questions so we're gonna be answering everything as we go so yeah okay let's take everything out uh, oh my god i know it why right now are you fucking serious you're bleeding yes Okay hey guys, so I ended up getting, I always get boneless wings, so I got um, half garlic parmesan and half mild, and then, well obviously, we have hey, the fries uh, right here. Fries. I, got a gar I got garlic parmesan, I got them classic. Please, please let me know, like that ass. You guys prefer Ooh. classic, which is bone-in, or boneless? Yeah, dude, I, I don't understand why she gets boneless. It's so we weird, but whatever. I just don't like regular. It's cause food. I say, I, I say, it's not wings if you don't get it classic. Mm. Literally, if you get a boneless, you're just it's eating like chicken nuggets. Chicken I guess. nuggets, literally. <gasps> I didn't get a fork. So we find a fork in here. I'm gonna use. The, I always oh, need yeah. a fork to eat my wings. I say she has nails for a reason, but then it gets all dirty. Gotta get, gotta get. Okay, guys. So I have all the questions right here. Um, so we are, we're gonna be answering them as we eat. And I got I got my fries like this. I get oh, yeah. them with cheese on top. Well, it's rare, but today I was feeling it, so I kind of. They're good like that. Shit, I kind of need a fork now. I ain't fuck. Oh, I'll eat it with my hands. I'm good. Um. So this is my wild one. I mean, my old one. Your wild one. <laughs> Tell me, if, let me know what you guys think about the ranch and wings. I feel like the ranch and wings star. No one can beat that shit, low key. No one can. All right, mango banero. To all my mango banero fans out there. I live uh it will be in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we're gonna start with the questions now. Mm. The first question is like the most basic one that we get all the time, which is how did we meet? Oh my God. So if you guys don't know we've been together for seven years. It'll be eight years this year in October. So yeah, we've already been dating for quite a while. We met at church. Um, we would go to this thing called youth group. It was every Thursday and that's where we're like, we really, really met. Our families have been going to that church for around the same time, but we just never really saw each other, huh? Like, I don't remember. Sorry, guys, he's like mentioning it up. Mm -hmm. but, I'm hungry, that's what my first, it's my first meal of the day and it's, it's 6.15, yeah, gang. Yeah, we haven't eaten. 6.15, bro. But, yeah, so we basically met our youth group. I was friends with his I older brother. <clears throat> I was friends with his older brother first. Like, I knew both of them. I met them both at the same time, but I was more friends with his brother. But everybody knew I liked him. So, basically, I had a crush on him for, like, two years. We were obviously freaking little. Um, and then in 2016, we, like, we've been, we had already been knowing each other for, like, two-ish years, maybe three. Mm -hmm. And then he basically just like randomly asked me out and I was like, of course, cause I had been having a crush on him. And mind you, I turned, like my birthday's in October. So I was about to turn 14. So I was 13 at the time and he had already turned 14. So we were 13 and 14 when we started dating guys. Like I still find that so crazy. Like we were little. Funny story too, is that when I was, when I was 14, she was 13. Uh, I want you to think about I was, she was, she was waiting for me for two years because I was already in the relationship. And we're talking about, this was like two years before 13 and 14. So I was, I was like 12 or 13 when I had a fucking relationship. Like, I, like she, I wait, she waited for me. And like, I feel like that's, I feel like that's when like also got my, caught, caught my attention or like caught me like saying like, like damn, like this shit really waiting for me for like two years. Like mm. that was crazy. But yeah, it, it it was just it, it was just like really. So yeah, that's basically how we met. Okay, something that kind of ties into it was, what was the first thing you saw that attracted you towards the other? So for me, since I was like the first one to get a crush on him, I think like since the first time I saw him, like just something about him like caught my eye. 
I can't really like pinpoint like one specific thing. I think it was just him as a being. Like I don't know. It just caught my eye right away, and I was like, like, this is for me, you know? Like I don't know. That's I. I don't know how else to explain it. Like I don't think. Like I obviously loved everything about him, so I don't think I can pinpoint. Like oh, that's the one thing that. That's why I wanted to be with him. If that makes sense. Hmm. What about you? Era güera. Era güera, and first things first, I have no hate towards no other like color saying it but like everyone has a preference all right so everybody knows but my preference was like a weta so when i saw her i saw she was weta and just her face her face is just really attractive like her face is just it's beautiful to me it's it's, it's i like it so much and i play around with her face a lot like I, you guys would be surprised how much like i just play around with her face like i touch yeah. her i squeeze her cheeks i grab her he's always i kiss her face. eyes like it's just so such weird shit that like if you guys would see us be like fuck was that for you know but but still like that's my way that that was my like that's what caught my attention and stuff and then when i really got to know her and shit like the way she like she expresses herself it's like she has that she has that confidence that no other woman has you know and i like that i like that a lot the way her confidence is and just her personality is re it's really out there it's outstanding i like it a lot that's what made me fall over there. Um, also, you guys, since we're filming in the car, like we didn't turn on the car because my truck makes a lot of noise. So we did open up a window just to get some air. So if you guys hear any like outside noises, that's why. Who made the first move? So Shit, me, I, I know. Like I had the crush on him, but he was the one to ask me out. He literally took my first kiss right when he asked me out. Mm. He didn't even know it was my first kiss though, so it's not like it's not a bad thing. Like I didn't see it as a bad thing, but if anything, I would always go up to her and I'd always like try to talk with her. I'd get, yeah, I'd go up I was to her super and shy, you guys. Back then, I was I still consider myself like a little shy, but back then, I I, I was think, super super shy. I think if I if I didn't if I didn't ever go up to her when we were younger, I don't think she would have ever gone up to me. I think. Like, right when we went to youth group and shit and everything, like, if I wouldn't have gone up to her to talk to her, I think we would have never talked throughout the whole entire time we were at youth group. That's how shy, that's how shy she Probably, was, honestly. Yeah. So, we already answered, like, how long have you guys been together? We've already been together for seven years. It'll be eight years in October. Okay, so someone asked, how did you know he was the one? So, obviously, we started dating super, super young. So, like, we didn't really have, like, a talking stage. We didn't have, like, a like a getting to know each other i think like our first one to two years of us dating and like we were boyfriend and girlfriend that was our our talking stage you know like that was just getting to know each other and no. i think it was getting to know him we would talk talk we would only see each other in person like once a week like the first two years of our relationship um, one or two times a week we would not because she, was, that she actually wasn't allowed to date that's why mm -hmm. we were dating behind her parents well her parents back yeah and then we wouldn't be able to text so much because i didn't have a phone he didn't have a phone so it was super that mean like it wasn't like we were talking on well, the phone she, every she day would have, later she, on she would have used her mom's phone yeah um so yeah it was things like that like we did get to know each other a lot and i think just like if you guys know us you know he's super outgoing he's super like he's like the life of a party and i'm more like um conserved in like I, I can like talk and stuff and i and i'm i think i'm a little more outgoing now but i would say we're polar opposites but at the same time we're like the same person i don't know like i feel like once we started to get to know each other we like right away knew like he's just like me and i'm just like him we have a lot of the same morals we we like see things like obviously we don't agree on everything you know like of course we disagree on so mm -hmm. many things but like the things that like are at the top that matter the most i think those things like we we both agree on them so i think from the start i saw that in him and i just liked how he was as a person and i was like yup like como dije like ese es para mi you know obviously when we were beginning day i didn't right away think like oh she's the one oh this. yeah like i don't think it was like right away i'm pretty i'm pretty sure she was also like that saying like her mindset was like well, shit, we're just gonna try it out, you know what I mean? Like, it was my type of way of thinking, too, but... Like, un, like me, uno que, like, es así creado con muchos morales in a way of, like, um... I feel like just every Hispanic um, in their household, they're taught a lot of morals, a lot of ways to see women, to treat women, how women should treat you and everything. I feel like she treated me so, like, special, so unique. Like, like if I was the only man in the world, like, you know, and, like... I feel like that's what made me really like connect more with her and see the fact that she was the one with the time that we were like dating and stuff and um but the but I would say the real 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 like what clicked in me and said like 
Oh yeah, she's so she's definitely the one. I loved and I and I I have cherished the moment how my mom connected so fast with her. Like my mom loves her. Mm -hmm. and no, and also my dad. Dude, my dad yeah. is like, dude, my dad cares so much about her. Like my my dad just, he always asks me about her so much. He's when I have on when I'm on the phone and everything, he's like, where's money? How how's she doing? Till I said hi. I was like, like my pa pendiente al tiro with her and everything. Yeah. And like I feel like my dad has never really showed that to like ev like to like the past relationship I have. He's never showed that, honestly. Yeah, and like thankfully, like gracias a Dios, I know there's so many girls out there or guys that don't have like a good relationship with their suegro no. or their suegra, like no type of thing. But me, like even though I was like more shy like in high school. Like I, w they still treated me super, super good. Yeah. Now that I'm a little more outgoing, now that I'm more like, not comfortable, but like it's easier for me to talk to them. Like we're like this, you know. Like mm -hmm. I feel like they treat me like their daughter. Like I love them, you like know. Like, I, like, me, no, my man. like they, I know. Like if anything happens, they always take my side. Like it's so funny, but like I'm so like grateful that I have right a good that. relationship with them, you mm -hmm. know, because it just makes it like that much easier on us. Just like he has a good relationship with my parents. Like I just love that because it's like now like obviously he's part of my family and I'm part of his, you know, like it just it's it's good. But that's but that's I feel like in a relationship that should be like a priority because I, I, I know I know some people that are like, shit, well, I'm in the relationship with my girl not with their parents. But the thing is that I feel like if you have if you have a good relationship on top with like their parents, I feel like you have that extra backup if anything, you know. Yeah. And like if any if anything goes down, you just don't have your family, but you have your girl's family to back mm -hmm. you up if anything. And I feel like already with like primero dios with eight years hitting, I feel like we have that bond. And I feel like if anything were to ever happen to me, I know they would back me up. Everyone in her family would back me up, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's dope. That's really nice. Okay, guys. So apart from like everybody asking how we met and stuff, um, a lot of lot of of you guys were asking how did you convince your parents to let him live with you? Someone else said, was your parents okay with your boyfriend living with you guys? So like basically, how was it us moving in together? I'm gonna start it off because to be honest, I think I was the one who really more went through it because mm -hmm. I was the one moving in. Moving in. So I'm moving out of my house. I'm gonna try to make it really short and I'm not gonna try to get like all fucking emotional and sentimental. So to be in there, I'm, I'm already done. I'm already, I'm already done, so. I'm not even halfway done, you I know. Guys. Took a little sip of water real quick. But um, honestly, when I told my parents and stuff, um, I first honestly wanted her to move out because um, I feel like just like every other person, like I just didn't want to move out of my parents' house, you know? Like I love my parents, I love my brothers. Um, and I feel like just moving out from them. <laughs> Hey, keep this in mind. We live like a good eight minutes away. Like from her house to my actual real house, we live like eight minutes away. So we we with the moment I, when I moved out and stuff, my parents acted like I was like moving out of state and shit. You know, like se pusieron, o sea, de plano de plano se pusieron like exagerados. Like, ay, te me vas a ir. Like, like, bro, vivimos ocho minutos. You know, so. Pero it was hard for more. It was more hard for my mom. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a mommy's boy, but. Like I'm not really attached like to my mom like like oh like uh, I'm a papacha man like ma serve me food like no the thing is like me and my mom just have a stronger connection um than my dad than me and my dad but my me and my dad we just have a very firm and like private you know connection so when I told him about it um uh, my mom cried and she was uh, a bit mad um si estaba enojado un poquito y no me habló and stuff for like a good day or two pero mm, Obviously, it's like things have changed. Mm -hmm. Things have changed now. Like now, like it's more better now. Even things are just like 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 if I'm still living over there, you know. And my dad was just like my dad did not want to show emotion, but just on the low low, he pulled me on the he pulled me aside. We went into his room and then he told me he's like, this really hurts me. And then like um, he he started crying and like it's it's like my when my dad cries, it's so stupid rare. Like it's rare as fuck. But when he does, I end up crying. So. When he told me all that and when he let me know everything, like, he just told me, I wish you the best. I hope you do everything exactly how I taught you and go be the man that I taught you, like, that, that I taught you to be, you know, growing up. And he just gave me a hug and he was good with it. He's like, let your mom be. She is going to be a little bit sad and depressed, but just let it go by and things are going to be situating by itself, you know? Todo con el favor de Dios. And so, yeah, and I did it. I mean, 
my little brother too. Like I feel like my little brother, I hung out with them more because, um, so I'm a middle child. I'm a brother of two. Uh, we're all three guys. So um, the middle one, you know, always gets along with the small one. So, so um, that's why like my little brother too, he kind of was affected. I did feel really bad to leave him, but he understood me, you know, he was more on my side. And my older brother, he was like, shit, good, like, huh? You know, like, this is good shit, you know, good shit, you're moving out. So, but, um, also, I know a lot of people, like, ask the reason why I did it. It's just, um, I'm not going to get too much into detail, but it was just personal things with my, yeah, just personal problems with my parents. Like I said, again, they're not bad. They don't treat me like shit. They're not the worst parents. They're the best parents, even, and hands down. Sorry, like, even though he wanted he wanted to stay, he also wanted to leave, you know? So mm -hmm. it was more, like, just the better decision for him and for us, like, as a relationship. Because, like, the things that were going on, like, in his house were low-key affecting our relationship a little yeah. bit. So when like we both made that decision together like obviously we talked about it for a while it wasn't just like something like we talked about it one day y para la next like we did it mm -hmm. no like it was something it's a big ass decision it's a it's a big step so um no but, we for but sure I, talked about it you know actually like in that moment when i told my parents it was literally like a like a friday and then literally i moved out literally the next the week the next week the next week i did it because i told myself if i don't do it asap and now i'm never gonna want to go i'm gonna yeah. push it out i'm gonna be like so for us like we talked about it it was like a longer process but for our parents it was like from one week to the next i think for them it was a little faster it was gonna be better for me too to like move out because at the age i had um i'm just gonna say that the age i had i wasn't treated the age i was i was treated like if i was like a 16, 16 year old you know what i mean like I, and like it, it gets to a point like how every how, every, that, what, how old were you i was 20 or 19 i was 19 I think we were 19 or 20 when he no out, i'm sorry i was 20. okay now getting into like me telling my parents so we talked about it good we like made our decision and then it was time for me to like obviously ask my mom and dad for permission but he also needed to ask them for permission so basically like i literally just like threw it at them i was like um i told them like i need to talk to you guys and then um they first thought i was gonna tell them that i was pregnant <laughs> but i was like no like <laughs> like i was like no it was so funny but because they kind of knew too like everything alan was going through because like they would see it you know not see it but they would like care about it i would it, tell them i talk with their mom talk with i talk with my sweater and stuff um so they kind of knew so i told them like you guys know like everything that alan's kind of going through at home um like he wants to move out because he told me first like let us uh, let's move out us like to an apartment or something but i told him like i feel like financially the both of us weren't ready at the time and i wasn't ready to leave my house yet so I told them, no, like, you come live with me. That way we'll still be living together. You'll be out of your house, and then it'll be better. And so, yeah, um, I told them that, and I told them, like, I know we both know it's something serious. We know it's a big step in our relationship. It's not something that we just want to do just for, like, shits and giggles, you know? Like, it's a serious thing that we want to do. And, like, I feel like I try to talk with them, like, as CVN, like, an adult, you know? Like, I try to make sure they they saw that I was, me and him were both taking it seriously and, like, explaining everything good to them. So, yeah, I basically told them, like, that him and me talked about it for a while. Like, we both agreed on it. It's something that we both want to do. Um, like, obviously, we, we, at that time, we were together for, like, five years, six years, around there. So like we've so. already been together for that much like we obviously we want to get married we want to have a family together and all of this and i told him like obviously eventually like we would want to buy our own house and like uh, move it move out together and all of this so yeah i told them all of that and they're like okay um they didn't give me a yes or no they were like we're gonna think about it but like they had to talk about it and then they were gonna tell me and i was like okay perfect and i told them like i also like told them um that i was telling them first because alan wanted to come and ask them for permission as well a week later they they tell me like okay yes they basically said our answer is yes but obviously we have to talk with alan too um they asked me like are you sure this is something you want to do like it's a big responsibility and all of this and and like they just wanted to make sure like it was a decision i wanted to make for myself and i told them yeah like for sure so yeah we said yes and then that friday that alan told his parents he came over to my house and he had a long talk with my parents he talked it out good with my dad and everything and yeah that was it was honestly super super easy and i think because my parents like literally saw us grow up together they saw that we've already like we take each other seriously this isn't something like we're just fucking around you know 
and I think that's why they were they saw that I was like serious I was talking to them good and I think that's why too they were so quick to say yes because they know Alan you know like they've known him since he was 14 you know so they know the type of guy he is they know he's not some like bum you know we yeah let's say for a fact like I did have my little trips you know my little mess ups and everything Which and stuff everybody but, does. but here's the thing like everybody does and stuff and I feel like the way in a way I feel like her parents they're, they're just so chill with me you know like they like even if i do fuck up and everything they don't just be like ah but que, que se chingue you know el mismo no o sea ellos están allí y me, y me dicen like mi hijo hey está mal esto está mal el otro this and that. like they actually they try to guide me and also fun, funny thing is that while i was telling her parent well well while i was telling her dad about like moving in and everything like the whole time that we were talking, like this fool was like, mm, mm, you know, like oh, like, smiling and shit. But like in the way, in the way he was like, ah, so like, you have to get any Like I was like, I was thinking what what he was saying in his mind. So, um, and then all of a sudden, when I literally blur out saying like, if I'm gonna move in with your daughter, it's not gonna be just for fun. It's not gonna be. It's because I'm planning and I want to marry her. And right when I said that, he was like, oh shit. Like he kind of like I saw his eyes go like. You know, like open wide. I was like, like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like that's what really weird. Like we assured him and everything, saying like, okay, you know what? Like, uh, you know, you're welcome. Even though I've always been welcomed at the house and stuff, but just moving in was a second, like another big step. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, that that was that. It's, it was hard, but we're glad we took this 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 opportunity. And, and I mean, if anything, like I'm learning how to just live by myself and stuff, and like financially and everything, like. It just makes me grow more as a as an adult, you know, and yeah. I feel like that's a good thing. A couple people were asking, how do you keep the spark alive? Relationship advice to keep your relationship sparking for many years. How to leave a spark? I'm gonna just keep it simple and easy because it's literally, literally what what it is. You guys might be annoyed, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is what, it's what everyone says, but it it is in it is in fact what has kept us you know like it's very very important. very important and very like alive in our relationship so we i'm sorry guys but i have to turn on the light because it's getting dark outside oh my god but bueno um communication it's 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 trust trust you guys don't have trust between each other i'm sorry but shit ain't gonna work out okay Maybe she doesn't have a hundred percent full trust on me porque sabe como soy el pinche loquillo de que o sea problematic like I'm very problematic when I see something bad I want to stand up and I want to do some shit about it that's the only reason why she doesn't trust me fully percent like fully a hundred percent because she knows that I will get into a fight that I will argue you know that's what I mean about on top of like her not being trusting me. But besides relationship wise, she trusts me 100%. She 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 trusts me to do and go and like do the right things when she's not there. So, um, I'd say communication, trust and never stop showing your partner love. And appreciation. I yeah, and appreciation. I used to I'm going to admit it and I feel like she can agree with me. <laughs> I used to be so romantic. I used to be so, so, so like, like oh, like writing her cards and shit. Even though I had a no, would write I didn't have a phone. Yeah, we write each other the letters literally. Um, and like I'd write letters. Um, when I used to live, when I used to live at some other, um, at another home place, um, my mom used to have her little garden outside. And sometimes for church, I would take her one rose literally out of my out I of my loved garden. It. Like I'd take it to her, and like she was like, oh my god, like. She always thought I would go and buy them, but she, one day, one day she just asked me. She's like, she's like, where did you get these flowers? And I told her I was like, it's from a garden. And she was like, what the heck? You have a garden? Like, you know, like, o sea, ya no sabía. And she was, she was, she would go to my house, like literally, like at least one time, like throughout the week. You know, that's when we started like being able to go to each other's houses for a little bit. But um, but now um, because I'm just so focused in like paying bills um trying to trying to like do work you know my work i'm stressed out and everything or just i just want to have some alone time a veces like yo me pongo pensando i'm like no mames like you know like no le hablado no le he dado algo esto lo que sea and so now like i, I feel like i've been working on more on being able to like 
you know, like, you know what, well, fuck it, hey, vamos a agarrar una nieve. Hey, let's go get some ice cream, let's go, let's go over here real quick, let's go drive over here. And sometimes I come home and I just surprise with roses, like, just some roses from fries or whatever it is, like. And it doesn't or, have to be, like, expensive stuff, you know, like, it's yeah, no. little gestures like that, like, a little ice cream day, a little, like, Something he picked up at the store because it reminded him of me, like those type of things. Like, I don't get her a fucking elote or something from the lotero. Like, literally, really? she fucking gets happy like, when I do that. It does not have like, to be expensive stuff. So, yeah, does, if you does, think, yeah. like, guys, girls, if you think you have to like spend money to like make someone feel loved, yeah. Mm. And I feel like I feel like nowadays, I'm sorry, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I feel like nowadays, females and and, and guys, I feel like they focus so much about money about who has the best car guys who who has the best butt or who like all that all that shit i feel it's like bro like that shit's leaving in the like that, that's that's left in the past like now i feel like more people should focus on like what people have been through what people really want the actual personality what, but here's the thing también mucha maldad existe en este mundo mucha 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 mujeres muchos hombres Buscan, tratan de hacer algo bueno para buscar lo que le conviene. And I feel like that's really fucked up. And I feel like just this world has just turned into a very, very fucked up, like a fucked up environment. But if you guys have your relationship for a long ass time, keep it. Don't try going out there looking for something else. Don't don't do it. I've learned from personal experience. Just don't go it's don't go way. out there. Don't go out there looking for something que ni al caso. Especially keep it keep it to how keep it to how you have. And again, well, if you feel like you want to keep it, stay yeah, in the community, relationship. trust, communication. Sorry, community. sorry, chant my fault. <laughs> communication, <laughs> trust, and just be really lovable and affectionate with your partner. Like always, 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 always. Or if you know like their love language, try to show your yeah. love through that, and that way they'll feel more appreciated. You know? Yeah. So that's uh, I feel like that's the best way, honestly. But okay, someone said this is not a question, but y'all my favorite couple. Period. Thank, Thank you. you. Who was that? Um. They love Yana for twenty. They love Yana for twenty. Thank you. I appreciate you. If you're right here watching it. Um, hey yo, if you guys I wanna say this real quick. If y'all are watching this shit and y'all haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, gang. You know you got tap that little subscribe shit, you know, like put the post notifications on and everything, like Let's get let's get this girl to 1K. Let's shoot it. I'm no? gonna do a giveaway once we hit 1K, you guys. A fucking Tesla pop. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, someone asked, "What are your future goals together?" And someone else asked, "How many kids do y'all want?" <laughs> no, so obviously, I feel like we have like the typical couple goals. We want to obviously buy a house. We want to get married. We want to have kids. Um, we wanna like be self-employed you know like we want to uh, we don't want to like he does he likes working in construction he's worked in construction like since high school um he doesn't mind it but obviously it, it would be more better it would be like our dream for the both of us to work from home work for ourselves and that way like have, have that business in the running. future when we have like our kids we're able to spend more time with them um but yeah you guys like we are saving up to buy a house we're working on like all the requirements you need to buy a house we obviously want to get married soon like that has been a goal of ours for a couple of years now um just because like we're each other's partners you know like we, i don't see myself with someone else he doesn't see himself with someone else so it's like a given um but for kids ideally i would have usually said like four kids but right now with this economy girl i don't know but Ideally, we would no say, kids, bro. No. Fuck them now, bro. Um, we would say maybe two to four kids, depending. Like, obviously, whatever God wants to give mm -hmm. us. Like, well, I we both want to have a baby so bad, but obviously, like, todo su tiempo. Um, but yeah, like two to four kids would be good. Yeah, if we I have like, more. Pues tenemos más, but yeah, honestly, I feel like personally, personally, like, I feel like four would be my max, to be mm -hmm. honest, but. If you really, if you guys really ask me, my in my opinion, I would just want to. If I can be blessed with one kid and one girl, I'd be good with that for the rest yeah. of my life, honestly. Like I just want to. And if shit, if it hits four, like after four, shit, no, no more. Like for real. Like for me, it's yeah. just four, and that's it. I'm good with. Four. And obviously, right now we don't have kids, so we don't know what it's like. So our, our answers could change, but at this moment in time, that's kind of like yeah. our stand on that. I mean, shit, but I feel like I'm, I'm honestly ready. You know, like to be able to have a kid and everything, I feel like for myself, like I just feel like I'm just so ready to have it. Mm -hmm. And that would be, I look, 
so many people go through it and they're like oh it was the worst experience i it was the worst experience having to wake up this is it was the worst so so many people see it like that but i feel like in my opinion like so at my point of view i feel like i would be like you know what i feel like those when my kid was growing and when i had to wake up far in the morning when i had to do this when i had to do that like all these sacrifices i had to do in order for my kid to be good i feel like in my point of view i'd say they were the most beautiful moments of my life and i feel like i can't wait to have that build up all those memories with my kid or my girl I man i don't know depending what it is but but yeah and then i mean i mean opposed to my future goals our future goals and everything it's it's exactly what she's saying you know just have a good future for both of us and be able to have like prepare our kids future you know like have it secured you know so it's the same thing yeah someone asked did you have a quince if so was your boyfriend a chambelan yeah so <laughs> me and my sister both had like we're twins so um we had a quinceanera together and yeah my boyfriend was my main <clears throat> chambelan now we know pa okay someone else asked what's your guys' to go date spot mm. honestly like we probably really say... like wingstop or we yeah. just look, we also like to try out new restaurants like if we ever have the time to go out and eat at a restaurant we like to go to different ones and try new ones so but like something like fast food like quick wing stop right i feel like wing stop and also we haven't gone but we fucking love the korean corn dogs if you guys oh know what i'm God, talking yeah. about the corn dogs those are the best things ever yeah. like we haven't gone actually in a long time but i feel like home. we're gonna we're gonna do that probably like next week honestly because I feel like that's both, both, both either wing stop or the Korean corn dog things. Yeah. Okay, last question. <clears throat> what is your guys' favorite memory together? Damn. Okay, so he's gonna say his favorite memory first. So my favorite memory was when I turned 16, my mom threw me a party. I feel like that was my first party again after like a long time ago. Um, and uh, around that time, I started learning how to play. I started learning how to play guitar. So I was learning, I was learning the guitar and then um, I just really wanted like a, a I wanted I wanted to save up for a guitar and stuff and everything and then um, I think it was literally I I had finally I finally said to myself around that time saying like all right I finally learned how to play guitar I learned on a crappy ass guitar and then um, but I still made it work you know it took it took me a little bit of time to learn I was really consistent with it so on my 16th birthday um, she pulled up you know obviously um, and then for my for my presence and everything like I was waiting. Like I, I received a um, couple of presents and everything, but I was not expecting that right when it came down to a present, I opened the box and everything. And I remember the note said, it said, vas a estar enojado, pero se te va a quitar. Like something like that. Cause I would always hate her wasting money on me. And shit, I did feel, I was so actually pissed, but se me quitó en caliente, Just like I said. But she literally got me my first 12 string guitar. You know, mm -hmm. like it was, like when I saw it, like I held, I held back so much, like so many tears because I did not want to cry in front of everyone. But I feel like that was just my best memory and I will, for, I will forever, ever, ever remember when she gave me my first guitar like literally that month i told myself i'm gonna save up for a guitar literally i said it that month and then little do you know literally it hit that moment my birthday and she gave me that shit and mm -hmm. i was completely blessed honestly like i i really i really did enjoy that and it was my best surprise and that's the most meaningful that's the most meaningful present someone has ever given to me and for her mm -hmm. and for her that we had barely we, we no we weren't barely like dating, we had already been dating for like two years yeah for two years but it, i feel like it was still recent around that time but for her to literally just like literally make that move it was like oh shit bro like i love mm -hmm. this girl like low-key so that was that was he only my loved me because i got him the guitar no i mean i don't mean it that way but yeah y'all already know you know it's just that little feeling i got in that moment yeah. but I was completely blessed and I still am. I still have I still have it but literally it sadly it broke year. last year. It it Pero le duró, like it Yeah, it him. did. I'm still planning to fix it. I'm planning to fix it but yeah. it's not gonna be able to work the same but honestly. So we wanna fix it so that he can still have it. Yeah, like, cause I cause yeah. honestly like I would really love for one of my kids, my girl or my or my boy to learn guitar you if know like, like if they like it and they want to, I can just give them that guitar, mm -hmm. you know. Now for my favorite memory, it's kinda like 
it's the same thing but it's like a whole bunch of different days so when we were like in high school obviously like i mentioned earlier we wouldn't see each other like that often like especially because we didn't go to the same school so it wasn't like we at least we saw each other during school no like we would literally see each other only thursdays when it was our youth group day and sometimes on sundays but like we wouldn't be able to talk that much on sundays because our parents weren't there but on like thursdays we were able to talk more because it was like our parents weren't there i don't recommend doing this if you're in high school because like obviously like we don't you shouldn't do this but um when oh. we were in high school <laughs> we would Ama, si we, no yendo, sorry. Okay, so we ditched <laughs> two times we didn't go to the same school so i would ditch my school and he ditched his they were kind of close like yeah. our my house met in the middle so we would meet up at my house and we did it two times right yeah two and times. i loved it because it was like a whole day for us like yeah. we didn't we did it we weren't able to do that so at that time when we, like we kind of planned it out it was like to the me person, like yeah. it was such a like when we did that it was like such a good day because like the focus was only on us and i feel yeah. like we were able to connect so much more because we were able to talk and like just hang out just us two like in mm -hmm. private you know um and kind of to tie in with that we would also like sneak out in the night like he would either sneak out of his house and come to my house or i would sneak out of my house and go to his and it's like the same thing like we would literally go and like talk you know like but yeah you guys like even though like we don't <laughs> recommend doing it like yeah. obviously it wasn't a good thing it wasn't safe to be like doing all those things but i think because we were so like desperate to like hang out on one-on-one -on -one, it's those it little was, like a perfect opportunity for us and it was like we loved it like we yeah. loved doing yeah, it. yeah it's, it's those little rebelde moments that we yeah. had and stuff and, and we, i think that's the worst things we did you know like just that was like really like <gasps> There was no way, you know. Yeah. Fun fact: the second time, we her mom caught, caught us, and it was so bad. She, she was, was driving. We, yeah, yeah, but we got caught by her mom. But it yeah, was, it was uh, so bad. It was worse. But thing. yeah, for sure, that's probably like one of my favorite memories, just because I remember like that feeling. We, I, at least I would have where it was like fuck. Like I was just so happy like to be with him, and like it's not like we would go out and like do like a whole bunch of stuff. No, like it was literally just us spending time with each other. You the know? first time, actually um we that we did i did have a little bit of money on me and like we went we want to go get an ice cream and stuff we went but it was but, still like spending time but the thing is the second time i feel like it felt even better the second time i did not have money like she didn't have money i didn't have money the second time i feel like i liked it the second time because we were just we literally were just laying down at a park literally yeah. we were legit just She's laying down biting. in a park and just talking and everything and those were the best moments of our life, literally just laying down and yeah. talking about our future and everything. Okay guys, I turned on my flashlight real quick because it's a little dark in here, but that's basically all the questions we had. Um, it was so fun answering all those questions with you guys and eating while doing so. But yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little bit more about us and our relationship. I'm gonna have um, his like social stuff in the description and mine are always in the description as well. But yeah, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Ciao.